Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and here is another video explaining one part or something about the Task Manager and we're going to take a look at the Memory Usage uh, tab and uh, so just go into the uh, taskbar at the bottom of your screen, right click, go to Task Manager and go into the Performance tab. Here you have of course CPU that we looked a little bit We've got memory, memory usage. What is memory usage? So memory has to do with the RAM memory of your computer. So that does have nothing to do with the hard drive or the storage space you have. It's the physical random access memory uh, chips that are uh, in your computer. Technically, this is one of the fastest way for your computer to store temporary data and retrieve it when it's needed. Your computer uses RAM to make it faster. It is random access memory, and that means that it's stored in a random way, and it is not permanent. Once you shut down your PC, the power shuts down. What's in there is lost. Now, you have a graph from 0 to, of course, right here, the graph that shows you, uh, depending on how much RAM you are using, how much is used so in use is the bottom part and the top part is the uh, space left so uh, this is something that a lot of people aren't actually understanding well um, I often see comments of well you know 60% of my RAM memory is used this is no good it's the other way around you want to have this used as much as possible that's how your PC stays fast that's why I always say not to buy not to install memory optimizers they are completely useless they even slow down your PC so when you look at your memory usage you also have a second graph just below it and it says memory composition this is the way that your memory is actually used so in here if I go down on the first part that is kind of grayish it tells you 4500 and some megabytes used this is used by everything you're using your uh, windows operating system the drivers uh whatever um you know the software that you might actually be using if i for example open browsers here like, like this like this let's go back notice how the memory usage is now bigger i'm at 5.5 gigs used and you see here there's a little bump uh, in real-time use of memory so every software you load, everything that you do on your computer uses some part of the RAM memory. So the grayish part tells you what is used. There's a smaller part that's a little um, kind of um, has a darker shade if you want. This is memory that the content must be written to disk before it can be used for another purpose. So it's temporary storage before it will be written back to your hard drive, for example. Then you have memory that contains cached data. For example, you're using Google Chrome, but within Google Chrome, you have a web page. Where the web page is cached, it is uh, part of that space in RAM, but cached memory is something that is temporary. It depends on what your computer is doing and what the software is doing. And of course, depending on the usage of the software, you'll have bigger or smaller cache depending on the software you use. And then the rest is memory that is basically uh, empty. Everything that's left that your computer could use if it needed, but is not used at this time. So of course you have a random um, kind of information at the bottom, which is the in-use memory for 5.4 gigabytes, the available memory left, the committed memory, uh, cached, and of course uh, the paged pool, which is the way that it's divided if you want. And uh, you have information about the type of RAM memory you're using, speed, 3200 megahertz in my case. Uh, slots use two of two, that means I've got two spaces for memory chips or memory um, uh, modules, and all both of them are used, so that means I have two times eight gigabytes to have a total of 16. Then you have form factor, SODOM, which is the standard form factor for laptop computers. 
And uh, the hardware reserved is um, every time you add hardware, you add a new device to your PC, there's a little chunk of memory that it always reserved for its use, for that hardware's uh, own purpose and use. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos on this channel.